out. Oh, I got it, Mr. Mark. Okay. Is it recording good. now? Yep. It looks Is like. It? Yep, recording. Good. <laughs> Yay. All right. Uh, welcome to Jenkins Advocacy and Outreach SIG. Today is Thursday, June 16th. Can't believe that. So on the agenda, I have a GSOC update, a CDCon update, the Contributor Summit that we had last week at um, in Austin, Scale 19X, and DevOps World. Anything else I should add to this agenda? No. Nope. Nope? Okay. All right. So first item is yours, John Mark. Yes. Well, okay. Um, so GSOC. GSOC reached uh, an important milestone. So uh, we had the project selected and we ended the bonding period. Uh, this is a period where we set up all the projects, communication channels, and uh, planning, and, and so on. And the bonding period was successful. All the objectives that we had let out for the various projects were uh, achieved. They started the official coding period uh, last Monday, uh, and the projects are running their full in it. So we had uh, the office hour a couple of hours uh, before, and it really looks very good. Uh, the next milestone is uh, in July, where we have a formal evaluation by mentors of what has been uh, done, achieved. It is an intermediate uh, report that Google likes to, uh, to have. And we'll also do an informal uh, evaluation not evaluation, but a state of a progress a status, where we're going to have an online meetup format uh, presentation where every project uh, will uh, present the project, what they've achieved, maybe a little demo and so on. It's impressive, but it's part of the experience learning to do presentation to large uh, uh, crowd. Um, and, okay, there was some, some spurious signals uh, there, so I hope everything is still running. Uh, okay, do you still hear me? Hear you. Okay, good. So uh, I'm also going to have an informal one-to-one -one, uh, meeting with the contributors and mentors, uh, just to see uh, if everything's running smoothly. And, uh, so here, we can be happy the, the project is moving forward and uh, looking good. So um, all lights green on GSOC from my side. Awesome. Uh, so Jean-Marc, just FYI, I also saved uh, a couple slots at DevOps World in case our GSOC contributors can attend. Um, or possibly do a virtual uh, presentation of their projects, but I'll keep you posted on that. But I did have uh, them saved uh, slots, speaking slots for them. That's good that, that you confirm. It was a, an idea that we were playing with or toying with. So uh, here, I'm also going to share that with the mentors that it's also one of the deliverables. And I call it bragging. Sure. Positive bragging. You must be proud of what you achieved and you need to learn also to explain. So I think it will be a very exciting experiment. Yeah. Experience and also. each session is going to be like a 15 minute session. So it's lightning talk. So not too long. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. Great. Thank you for, Thank you for organizing that. Yep. You bet. And then. Uh, some reason my mouse isn't working. Uh, CDCon, Jenkins Contributor Summit recap, Mark. I pretty much uh, added the update here, but if you can just kind of talk us through it a little bit, that'd be great. Yeah, so we were really pleased with, with the multiple contributors from all over the world 
uh, Victor Martinez, Ivan Fernandez, and um, Manuel de la Pena uh, came from Elastic and shared open telemetry, uh, highlighting how they use op the open telemetry plugin connected to their Jenkins instance to improve their experience diagnosing and understanding what Jenkins is doing for them and how they can apply it more broadly. Uh, really liked what they did and how they did it. Uh, Tim Jacome took us through user experience improvements that are coming. And again, thanks to Jan Faracik for his work on user experience improvements. We're looking forward to the upcoming release next week of the LTS with many of those improvements in it. Really excited. Olivier Vernon, um, had brought us a proposal for how to better manage the core contributors to Jenkins CI and Jenkins Core. Uh, his suggestion was we apply a similar technique that we've used on Jenkins Infra, creating a group that's an alumni group, which has very limited permissions. And we move people who are inactive core contributors into this alumni group. That means they're not dropped from the organization but we reduce their permissions, thus reducing security risk. And yes, I have the action item to blog a, uh, a re recap of the Contributor Summit. That's it for me, Alyssa. Thank you, Mark. Um, quick question. Would it be worthwhile for us to do a Jenkins online meetup for the, uh, the open telemetry plugin with Victor? That's it. That's it. That's a good question. We we did an open telemetry presentation in an online meetup about four or five months ago, and it's probably evolved enough that a month or two from now, it would be a good thing to show. I'm not sure they're ready yet because a couple of the key things that they showed us in the in the contributor summit were not yet released to the to the plugin itself. So they were working off of a development copy of the plugin. Uh, so, but yes, I could see a month from now or two months from now would be a great chance to have them do an open telemetry presentation. Okay. All right. Uh, the next item I have is scale 19 X. So scale stands for Southern California Linux Expo. That is taking place uh, end of July, July 28th to the 31st in LA. Mark and I will be attending that event. We do have a booth that they, they're giving us, actually it's for free. Um, our booth number, I think I, did I, no, I don't, oh, yeah, it's 604. It's 604. 604, thank you, Jean-Marc. Uh, so it's 604, Mark and I will be there staffing the booth. We also have a speaking slot on Sunday, and it's on expanding open source in Africa with Jenkins Experience Report. And I'm ask I'm asked about the um, the expectant uh, attendance, given that we're you were we're coming out of COVID, kind of sort of. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see what kind of attendance it's going to be like this year. It's, it's uh, it'll be different. DevOps world speaking acceptance notifications have been sent out. Speakers are urged to work on their task list. Uh, Bruno, I know you had an issue with it yesterday. Did it's also. Yeah. All solved. Okay, so it was working off of the uh, your speaker portal. Yep. Uh, this it. morning, not yesterday, but this morning, oh. all is solved. Yeah. Okay, great. So, co-speakers, I do. I think the team is still trying to figure out uh, if that communication has been sent to co-speakers. Like, I'm a co-speaker. I did not receive anything. Just FYI. Um, but main speakers did accept the, uh, did receive the acceptance notifications. Uh, what else? Contributor Summit. We will have a Jenkins Contributor Summit that will be all day September 27th. That's on a Tuesday. And then we should expect to have a Contributor Appreciation Dinner at the end of that day. Uh, with regards to planning for the event, so Jean-Marc, 
uh, Bruno and myself and Mark will be involved in the planning for the booth. And if anybody else is interested in it, just feel free to reach out to us on the advocacy and outreach uh, mailing list. And that's all I have on the agenda. Is there anything else that you'd like to add? Not yet. All right. Things Excuse brewing. Me. <laughs> I, I thought we had somebody that was planning to attend today. I'm, I'm a little yeah, perplexed. That's the from uh, um, the oh, CD oh, Foundation. Right. We should actually we should talk to that topic because let's let's spend a few minutes on the topic, even if Fatih is not here. Mm -hmm. So at CDCon, Fatih Di Germanci was announced as the new director of their organization. So he's taking the role that Tracy Miranda previously had. And, and that announcement, he also noted that they would like to be more actively involved in helping to promote Jenkins and letting us leverage their facilities, their marketing capacity, et cetera, their advocacy capacity to help do a better job together. So I wonder if maybe we had to give ourselves an action item. Maybe it's best for me since I think I had the conversation to reach out to Fatih and see if he would like to join the, a call in the future. Mm -hmm. um, I had sent him the invitation for this meeting since he wasn't able to attend. I think what I'm going to do is send him other invitations and do it with an email that says, hey, who in your team would you like to be involved with us? Because they've probably got either Michelle Martineau or, or others that are Roxanne Jonkas who are interested in and could be more involved if we just find a way to coordinate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you for yeah. the reminder. Yeah, I, th I think we need to, to re-establish the network uh, uh, with all the people changes in, you know, on our side, also on the CDF side. We need to rebuild the network and, and uh, contribute to a... a a sane corporation. Right, and plus they have so many new players, so I think it'll be a yeah. good idea. Yeah. Um, I know that we want to have them play a big part at DevOps World, so I need to reach out to them as well. So if I get to them first, uh, Mark, I'll I'll relay the message and invite well, them to this meeting. But you actually, can... if you've already got a reason to connect, I'm going to copy you on my message to Fatih. So that okay. that gives me an excuse to say, look, here's Alyssa. Um, Alyssa's the events officer, and she's also leading DevOps world activities to to be sure we do a good job on the Jenkins track, and and that lets them know the right people to connect. Yeah, and I also met him at CDCon, so that's oh a good, plus. okay, very good. Yeah, okay, yeah, that sounds like a good plan. I'm gonna stop the.